In moments of crisis, Jen Psaki emphasizes the power of courtesy, personal responsibility, and finding deeper meaning amidst chaos. It's crucial to reduce political rhetoric, promote unity, and calm collective fears. That is the question. And Jen, in fact, we've already seen mm -hmm. the finger pointing uh, begin. Some people even blaming President Biden. We heard that very forceful condemnation mm -hmm. by President Biden of what happened. As someone who used to work with the president, what are you anticipating in terms of he's obviously pulled his political ads yeah. forward. But as Carol said, the question is, how long does this moment last? And, and how do you think he sees his role right now? I mean, I think his role, I, I'm, I'm betting that how he responded was as a human being, which mm -hmm. is how we just saw Lindsey Graham at moments during that interview and Senator Sanders and Senator Coons respond. That's how everybody should be responding. For anyone out yeah. there who has a platform who thinks the moment right now is to be political and attack the other party, you are feeding into the danger. You are making it more likely there's retaliation. I'm incredibly scared. I'm scared for journalists. I'm scared for people who have public platforms of all parties. And that's how people should feel. So for President Biden, I, I mean, Senator Coons mentioned he was in church. Um, he's somebody who's very prayerful. Um, he is a, somebody who attends church. I think he probably is relying on that. Um, and in this moment, I think his instinct would be not to be political. And you just take it day by day. That's where he would be. I mean, he has a huge interview tomorrow. And the moment there is not to talk about the political path forward. It is to be a healer and to lower the rhetoric and, the, and, and the, the tenor in the conversation in the country. It's just fascinating. Every conversation is going to be different, including that interview, Jen. Jen Psaki's message is clear. Maintaining good manners and dialing down political rhetoric are essential, especially after violent incidents. Lowering the temperature in our polarized world is vital, and we appreciate her call for a non-political healing response from Joe Biden. The public recognizes the necessity of adjusting the Republican National Convention program to acknowledge current tensions and prevent further escalation. Through Pisaki's lens of personal responsibility and meaning in chaotic times, the significance of our actions and words becomes evident. Each individual's contribution to society's atmosphere is paramount. Emphasizing the need for genuine response and accountability, we urge public figures to act in ways that foster understanding and alleviate fears. Pisaki's expressions of concern for journalists and public figures highlight the emotional toll of constant public scrutiny, especially amid violence. Her call to avoid political attacks and focus on healing aims to manage collective anxiety and prevent further violence. We must understand how fear influences behavior, driving people towards safety and stability. The public's response to Pisaki's remarks reflects a yearning for trust and security and leadership. Different groups will react variably to requests for reduced rhetoric and increased civility. For some, trust in leadership and a calm, cautious approach to crisis management will be strengthened. Others may feel skeptical or frustrated if they perceive this as an attempt to suppress legitimate political discourse. Effective leadership in countering crises involves balancing security, concerns, with the need to build unity and resilience. Joe Biden's compassionate and prayerful response, along with Psaki's call for apolitical rhetoric, offers direction and stability in uncertain times. This approach helps manage public emotions and focuses on collective healing and safety.